kind of funny to think that I sat like this. Is this gonna be like a good? Yeah, some wash, it's okay. I sat like this, um, I think it was September of 2021 when I moved here and I was watching a video of me in the beach house like this time two years ago. Also filming kind of like this. This is gonna be just like a kind of little, I'm dying. <laughs> Actually, I mean, maybe. I, you know, I'm amazed I've made it this far. I'm turning 25 this year, and that's really. And there are like some milestone birthdays when you really feel the milestone, and it's true. Like 23, 23 did feel like it was kind of the transition more to adulthood, I think. And then 24 doesn't really feel like anything, but like I can feel that I'm like about to be 25, and it is weird. Like it's one of those things where you think you would feel so much older when you get there, then you realize you don't. Like. I'm like five and a half years away from being 30 and I feel nothing like that. This is gonna just be like a video talking about 2020, 2023 updates, like while I show you some things that I've done over the past few weeks since I came back from London a few weeks ago. I mean, as like, today was the first sunny day in forever in Paris and I'm not gonna lie, this year already kind of feels a little old for me because the beginning, this is falling off. The beginning has been really, emotionally difficult for me like again already like it's it's so weird because you i watched back videos of myself two years ago when i was just struggling to get here and i would kill to be where i am right now and it's the saying i've coined for myself that like your past self is always proud of your present self guaranteed but i don't know i i definitely did not envision my first like happy year in france dealing with other emotional stuff that happened last year, like right before everything with France finally got really good. And I'm very amazed that I'm even filming this right now. I haven't really wanted to be on camera much the past couple of weeks, but I love YouTube. It's like, I actually, I did what I did six years ago already for 2017 and I wrote down on a Word document my goals for this year, like some of them I have not done at all, which are like run more again, which isn't for the health aspect of at all. For me, it's 100% mental, but I have like been doing Pilates more, like for just half an hour a day as my lunch break when I'm working because there's really no excuse I get to work in my apartment and that's been really helpful, but stuff like that's been on the list. To keep traveling, I'm in the middle of writing my I'm my you can't talk anymore. My viewers for YouTube will love this, but I'm actually working on a book to self-publish myself, and it's going to be all about my move to France. If you followed my journey from the beginning, you won't really need to read it because you watched all of the videos as they were happening in real time. But it's going to be a book all about that. So I've been writing that lately. Um, I came out with an album in January. If you don't know, it's called The Lost Collection of Feelings, and I pretty much wrote it in two weeks in the in, uh, in August in the summer when I was really, really, really drowning in some emotional feelings. But it's, while it's obviously like, I don't have the studio equipment and I don't know how to mix and do everything 100% professionally. It is, it is my favorite music that I think I've come out with yet. So if you haven't listened to that, that's also something worth listening to. I'm just like kind of giving you the lay down because I definitely think YouTube's gonna take a back burner for a little while while I'm working on this book. And then I keep, I've been trying since the fall to get people to do a music video with me for one of the songs on that album. You can go ahead and guess which song it would be. But I just can't get anybody to help me and that's that's something very frustrating about being an artist and like having so many... I was saying to myself I was going to print stuff. I'm finally getting my... I have a million ideas at one time. My mom always judges me. She's like, you think too much. It's like, you don't... Like, like Chelsea Keller literally said this in a TikTok too. It's like, you don't understand how artists' brain work. Like, we just... It's like a spider web. You just keep going. But... I was literally thinking while well, I was going to go print papers for my Carp Vital pickup and mandatory OP medical appointment on Friday. Which is funny, like I've been living here for almost a year and a half and now they're calling me in to do that. But I was thinking about that. I was thinking how I don't know if I'll ever 100% truly be happy because like two years ago, I was like, all I want is Paris and I like to live in Paris. And I don't know, it's like once you get, I'm not saying I'm not happy here in France. I'm saying just, once you get one thing, it's it's like this like joke my cousin told me, the one who kicked me out of her apartment in New York. It's gonna be in the book if you don't watch the videos as it was happening. 
But like she said to me when I was 13, like guys, like they like you, but once they like got you and they know that you like them too, like they almost don't care because they got you. And it's like on to the next thing. I kind of feel like that with everything in my life. I'm like, okay, I did this. Well, what do I need to do now? Because now I need like the next thing to keep being happy because I don't know how to be happy if I'm not continuously like hurting over getting something else. Um, I don't know, interesting philosophical thought there. That's really bad because it just kind of proves that I don't know how to be content in like the current moment. Um, sometimes, it's very rare though, I'm not gonna lie, most of the time I'm not content at the current moment, I'm always thinking about the future. Not like in an anxious way, just like I want it to be the future because I want to have like, I want to be able to look back and be like, yeah, you got what you wanted now, can you shut up? Um, totally forgot what I was saying. Yeah, that's on my list of goals. I would love to hit 1k subscribers on YouTube this year. We're pretty close. I think it's definitely attainable. That would be a lovely, lovely goal to hit. Um, I'm sure you guys have noticed I'm not on Instagram at all. You probably wouldn't notice right now if you follow me, but my account is currently private because I never outright said what happened. I'm probably never gonna outright say what happened. I never fully share those details because one part of what happened last year was like a bunch of people coming at me with stuff that was simply not true. So I just didn't want to give any more potential ammunition but right now my instagram is private so then people can't stalk me and like twist stuff in my life and it's been good i don't use it right now i've actually been into tiktok lately so if you want to follow me on tiktok i guess it's a very relevant platform right now and it's been good for me because i get to like post and get the satisfaction of posting but it's nobody who knows me. So I've been, been enjoying that. Like actually gets, I've been getting some views on like, I've been putting like songs I've been working on lately, like stuff I haven't even started producing yet. Just like the straight up guitar chords and me singing. That's been very good for me actually. So, um, yeah, everything else. It's just a very weird time. I've said this before in other videos, but just, I feel like the past nine months of my life have been a lot like Ariana Grande's in 2018-2019 where she was at the peak of her career but she had never felt lower emotionally in her entire life and that's very much how I have felt the past few months and you just you literally never know something in my teeth you literally never know what to do with yourself because you're like I should be super happy but then you're constantly grieving and you're like I'm so tired I don't know I don't even know like what to feel and then you do know what to feel and you just don't want to feel it anyways I think those were all of the updates. I think it's just like kinda, yeah, 2023 for me is a lot of, I have experienced so much betrayal and hurt and pain uh, the past like four years-ish now, which is a long time. And I think this year is like my goal of I just, want to be alone i just don't i don't want to like try and make new friends anymore like i'm down for like little tiny socialization things but i'm tired of like trying to force them to be things that they're just not gonna be i've been hurt so much that now my goal this year is just to like it sounds kind of bad and i express this in a, a sen the sentiment in a song on my new album called walls around my heart just i don't want to let anyone or anything anymore i just like kind of like, not a, not a bubble, but like kind of like a mime in a box. I just want to do my thing in the box, be a mime, whatever, and avoid more hurt. Um, anyways, that's my little 2023 update so you guys know what's going on, that I'm working on some cool stuff. It's just some stuff that's not on YouTube and that's kind of natural being super creative like I am. Platforms take turns. Right now, I've been enjoying TikTok is like my video platform right now and then been writing this book which i really hope to publish in march again writing it's not the problem it's gonna be uh, getting someone to help me take a cover which the cover would be would be very cool and actually i could do the cover myself actually worst case scenario i don't need anyone else to do it so all right i i've never been someone to say like i love you guys on youtube and everyone says it like i've been watching a lot of youtube the past couple months i haven't watched any tv shows just youtube never, i've never said i love you guys but i do love you like you're kind of like my own little um i'm not kind of you are some of you have watched like my journey for so long you're like my little community and my fake space on the internet where i could just speak and let it be my video personal personal video diary online that people don't come at me for so yeah love you guys hope you go listen to the lost collection of feelings and when i release my book you'll definitely see a video on that but yeah just so you know if i'm not like on youtube 
super, super often the next few weeks. I'm working on some other fun projects. I'm going back to Switzerland in April for two days. So it'll be really nice to have, um, like that's the start of April. I'm hoping my parents come in April and I'm praying we'll go to Greece also. So that'll be two weeks of a lot of fun. Like expect the travel content and all those really fun videos to kick back at uh, kick back up in april but for now the rest of february march i'm trying to do some other projects so that's the update like subscribe and i'll see you guys soon